everybody how are you all doing i hope you're having an amazing day i am so excited and so grateful and so thankful because this is my first harvest day in 2020 <laughs> so grateful I have here a big basket of bitter leaves and another big basket of greens all in one short month of gardening that's why we garden that's why we garden because we can produce our own food right in our backyard I want to share with you how you can harvest bitter leaves and the greens um, amaranth for maximum production it's harvest day today it's harvest day today i'm going to harvest some greens and then some bitter leaves as well it's harvest day it's harvest day so first I am harvesting greens or amaranth. And the scientific name is amaranthus species. It is a vegetable with smooth, bright, tender leaves that can be steamed lightly or even eaten raw. But for me, I'm going to stir fry this with some onions, tomatoes, maybe garlic, and then we can have it with plantains or any other starchy vegetables. This vegetable is also known as Kalalu. It is an extremely self-sufficient crop and germinates like really fast between 10 and 20 days. It grows very fast after that. In fact, what I have here, you know, I think germinated around mid-March. So in about a month, it was more than ready for harvest. Guys, I'm so grateful for this harvest. In fact, for these greens, I did not grow the greens like intentionally. Last year, I grew greens in the garden and I guess the seeds stayed in the ground and they just sprouted from everywhere this year. And now I have a beautiful harvest. Let me show you how I harvest the greens. I use my kitchen shears and then i'm gonna harvest right from the bottom right around here then so this one can form a new you know plants like this one so i harvest right at the bottom just like that it's gonna come up again I have two species of the greens in the garden, the Kalalu, which is like from the Caribbean, I suppose. And then the other type of amaranth that we are more familiar with in Cameroon. The Cameroon variety has this mustard type of flavor or fragrance. The other one that I'm harvesting, the Kalalu, does not have that mustard flavor. So. It just depends on what you like. I happen to prefer this um, Caribbean version to the typical Cameroonian Kalalu. Next, we are going to harvest bitter leaves. This is Vernonia amygdalina, the bitter bitter leaves. I call these my Lazarus vegetables because they basically came back from the dead. I'm gonna harvest it the same way, right at the bottom. Just cut like right here. Bottom. So bitter leaves, also known as Venonia amygdalina, is a vegetable 
and it's also a medicinal plant. It really likes full sunlight for best growth and prefers a humid environment. You can propagate the bitter leaves by stem cuttings or you can start the bitter leaves from seeds from the dry flower heads. So stem cuttings are preferred as they grow faster than starting the bitter leaves from seeds. I've always started my bitter leaves from the stem cuttings. So yeah, that's your bitter leaves for you. Hello again, and I just want to thank you so much for watching. And if you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing. What I do here is encourage wellness. And I also share gardening videos to encourage you to cultivate something. They say in pigeon that ground no the full man. That just means that if you grow something, you are going to be rewarded. The earth is always ready to nourish you. So grow one thing, you know, it doesn't have to be much. You can do container gardening, you can do raised bed gardening or in-ground gardening. Find something you love to eat and put a seed in the earth and watch what the earth does to it that is going to reward you in every kind of way.